Hi there, I'm John Leach, and you're watching Arc Fishing. Nice largemouth. Very nice largemouth. Nice largemouth bass. Nice largemouth bass. Alright, I'm gonna eat this beautiful muskie. 35 inch muskie. Catch and release. Lake, Birth County, PA. It is Saturday, July 13, 2019, so welcome to another awesome edition of Arc Fishing. I'm currently down here. I just launched out of Dry Brooks Launch Ramp, and I'm going to go way up halfway through. I'm going to go through the wake zone, and then I'm going to go halfway up through the wake zone. I found the fish last Sunday evening. I laid in my fish finder like a Christmas tree. I couldn't get them to hit, but then I did manage to catch five large mouth bass in the last two hours of daylight. So I'm going to back that spot and see if I can't figure it out a lot sooner this time. Alright, so here we go. About to be the no wake, the, uh, no wake zone and here's the wake zone. Step on this throttle. Hoping this. It's not like she's running good. Hopefully she stays running good. It's gorgeous out. High of 88 degrees, eh? There's a beautiful breeze blowing. It's uh, sunny. Blue skies, very few clouds, gorgeous day. Gotta watch out for these kayakers out here. It's, it's one busy lake today, man. Alright, here we go. here the water temperature is 85 degrees my first launch was 83 I'm only up here in the no egg zone I came pretty far up um, I'm in 15 feet of water and I'm gonna fish the drop off here you got shade over here going out into the sunny water uh, I'm gonna start with a 5 inch silver sank with a 5 out Tamagotchi with a hook and see what happens 
All right, I'm gonna turn the camera off. I can start a battery and memory card. If I can get a fish one, I'll turn the camera back on. All these fish in my fish finder. Now I'm using a Helix 5, and this one has structure scan, or down image, whatever you call it. I don't know the correct name of it, but I'm using traditional sonar right now. I'm in 17, 17 feet of water, and look at all these fish below my boat. I mean, they're lighting up like a Christmas tree. I was here last Sunday, same down a little further, and I was throwing so many things I just couldn't hit. I mean, they're there. I can find them. I just can't figure out what they're gonna bite on. I don't, I don't understand it. But look at them all. That's crazy. Fish after fish after fish. All right, just skunked out of the boat. Just got the first fish on. I was throwing five inch for a while. Couldn't get nothing on it. I was throwing a couple crank baits, and I went back to the four inch source sanko. First cast, man. Kind of slur. Let me, let me show you. Let me measure him quick and throw him back. I know he's under, but I want to measure him anyways. Let's see what the scale is. Measure him real quick. There we go. That's just 13 and a half. All right. 13 and a half inch largemouth bass. Blue Marsh Lake, Pennsylvania. It is Saturday, July 13th, 2019. Catch and release. I'll show you what I'm using. It's, I'm telling you, I'm loving this lure. It's just, it's working. And it might not catch giants, but it's catching fish. So here's my setup. It's a four inch silver sanko. It's called a yum dinger and the color is called tin foil. I'm using a four gamagatsu weighted hook. It has a C spring and I'm using 12 pound test stuff with clear monofilament. First cast, man. I was throwing crankbait after crankbait after crankbait. I think I threw four different ones. I tried the five inch silver sack when it worked. As soon as I threw the four inch, bam, fish on. So there we go, skunks out of the boat. All right, good deal. All right, just got another fish on. It's a nice one, man. Oh, oh man, I think. <laughs> yes! Oh, I brought the scale with me too. Dude, this thing is huge. Look how fat this baby is. <laughs> Look at that. That was a good hook set too. He was down deep, man. I read the drop off. I cast it up in the bank and let it drift down. Oh, he's, re he's really hooked too, man. I'm gonna weigh this baby. I'm gonna throw this on my live off. I think he's over 15. He's gotta be over 15. I'm gonna throw my live real quick and we'll take pictures and videos, but 17 and a half inch largemouth bass. That is beautiful. Hold on a second. Oh, he's fat. I wanna I wanna weigh him. Alright. I'm gonna weigh him quick and throw my live well and keep my live for a little bit. I'll throw him back. I ain't keeping him. Come on, turn on. There we go. Pounds. Alright. Hope you guys can see it zeroed out. I'm gonna see what he weighs. It's fat for 17 inches, I'll tell you that much. I thought he weighed more than that, but he's 3, 3.2, 3.2, of course he freaking do that. Hold on, I gotta re-weigh him. He wouldn't even do that. All right, 3.24. Hopefully you guys can see this, but it's 3.24 pounds. Hopefully the camera's picking that up. 72 and a half inches. All right, let me throw my live well quick. Keep him alive. Oh, I love seeing fish in my live well, man. 17 inch, 3.24 pound largemouth bass. Caught in a public lake in the state of Pennsylvania. Beautiful, healthy live. I'm gonna release him. I just wanna throw my live a little bit because I love seeing fish in my live well. Um, I can legally keep it right now as long as they're over 15 inches. This is called what's a big bass lake, so that would be 15 inches or larger to keep. So I can legally keep them, but I'm going to throw them back. I don't, I don't have no interest in keeping them. i got plenty of fish in my freezer, thankfully. But I just like seeing fish in my live well, so I want to record it real quick before I throw them back and release them. So there you go.
right, I'm gonna release this fish. Just I want to get on video just so you you're, see that I release it. It's in my level. I'm gonna release this bass. All right. So there we go. 17 and a half inch largemouth bass. It's 3.24 pounds. Beautiful, healthy largemouth bass. I am at Blue Marsh Lake in First County, Pennsylvania. I'm in a no wake zone. I caught him in a four inch sewer sanko. It's called a yum dinger and the color is called tin foil. And I also used a four art gamagatsu weighted hook. 12 pound test, clear monofilament. It is Saturday, July 13th, 2019. Catch and release. All right, baby, thanks for the fight. Let me show you the setup I'm using real quick before I end this. All right, so what I'm using here, I'm using a G Loomis GL2, the six and a half foot bait caster, and I'm using a Shimano, and it's called a Shimano Canaan um, left hand retrieve. Um, it's called a Canaan 101, it's got seven bearings in it. I don't remember the gear ratio. I want to say it's probably, oh, here it is, it's six five to one gear ratio. All right, so there's my setup. Number three. <laughs> That was a matter of, I think, 10 minutes. He got a keeper. He might, I don't know. It's going to be close to 15. I think he might be 13 or 14. We'll see. That sewer sank, oh man. Let me get this net out of the way. Let's see what he measures. All right, this is fish number three in the boat. Three for three. Only 13, there are no dots. All right. He is 13 inches right on. So I have to release, this is a big bass lake, that has to be 15 inches or larger to keep. I actually threw that 17 inch or back. Um, but there you go. Fish number three, 13 inch largemouth bass. Catch and release. Give me a good fight for a 13 incher. Look at this man, I'm loving this lure. I'm loving it. Wow, well, so, right. Chesapeake Bay, but there it is. Silver sank, a four inch. Or come on, got some way to hook. I'm telling you man, this is one of my new favorite Riggs, man, I'm telling you, I'm loving it. Absolutely loving it. All right. Hopefully I'll get some more in here yet today. Yeah, baby. Got a large mouth. Nice one, too. I might be nice. Oh, get a nice one, too. Hell yeah, baby. Hook just fell right out. Oh, <laughs> power. That's what he measures. Fish number four. Fifteen and a half. He's evil. I don't have to go live. All right. Fifteen and a half inch large mouth bass. All right. Catch and release. That was fun, man. Got my hands off quick. I'll tell you what, man, it's fun when you're catching, it's frustrating you're not. But it is so much fun when you catch them. That's four, four for four, man. Hook four landed four. This fish is pulling drag. I got a decent one on. I'm not sure how big it is, but he's pulling drag. He's pretty decent. It's a large mouth. I see him. Come on, baby. Oh, he pulled off. Come on. Landed four fish. I had a fifth one on. I let him have it. I set the hook. I was too busy trying to turn the camera off instead of trying to net the fish. He jumped and spit the hook out me right in the boat. I should have netted the fish first and then turned the camera on. So it's my own fault I lost that last fish. I would have had five fish in this boat, but I got four to five and it was human error on my part. So I landed four, had one get off. Um, I think I had two 13 inches if I remember correctly, a 17 and a half inch and a 15 and a half inch. Uh, it's 8.30, it's going to be dark in a half hours, so I'm going to head in back to the launch ramp and load this boat back up so all right 